jersey is when Dirk and him played together. When an autographed Luka Doncic jersey was up for bids at a charity auction, Michael DiMattia says he did what he had to do. Yes, so I gave away the naming rights to my first son. Michael's dad, David, agreed to buy the jersey for him in exchange for naming his future grandson, David. <laughs> yeah. Crazy? Hardly, says Michael. You don't go to these games and you don't have this some kind of, you know, kooky habit. Michael says he's just one of the many Mavs fans who believe superstition can influence the outcome. I'm hoping that this jersey is very lucky. Which is why, to Michael, having the right jersey is vital. And it's really nice when you find uh, a jersey that is on a win streak. Um, I keep track of those for sure. Really? Michael tracks wins and losses based on each jersey he wears. This one is... 3-0. He sticks with the best ones. The last jersey. And fervently avoids the worst ones. I do not like touching right now. I definitely think that I'm making an impact. For sure, there's no way it doesn't. There's 0% chance it doesn't. And with the Mavs down 2 nothing, he's taking a bold step. I will, go, I will go everywhere with them and just be like, look at this. Michael recently bought a pair of custom shoes, hand-painted with a bold proclamation. He got them from a local artist called Candle Can Do It. These are so cool. And you've got to wonder why someone so superstitious would do something so audacious. We want it to happen. Everybody wants it to happen. So why not just put it out there in the world, make it real? And if it doesn't work? I'll send you a video of me burning them, like without a doubt. We'll cross our fingers that the Mavs catch fire first. It can become a reality. In so. Dallas, I'm Sean Giggy.